then once again drop something would it be a video on the astro imaging journey channel if i did not drop something hello and welcome back to my astro imaging journey channel and uh, in this video i'm going to be unboxing two boxes actually two not three two um that contain dc or ac to dc uh adapter for the camera uh, that's needed for the fans the zwo asi 1600 mm pro camera the zwo eight position electronic filter wheel and then hopefully there should be eight filters in there should have an l r g and b as well as h alpha uh, sulfur three oxygen two and I did go ahead and get that uh, hydrogen beta filter as well. So first, let's go with the smaller box. All of these were purchased from uh, High Point Scientific. And there we go. More packing peanuts. And another invoice. Power cord. And I'm assuming the actual transformer. And yes, transformer. This is the ZWO's uh, version. And well, at least it was sold by ZWO. Uh, ZWO ACDC US. Um, and it's one. Uh, Basically American European, so uh, 110 to 40 uh, output is 12 volts at five amps. Uh, you could use, uh, from what I read, as long as you have at least two amps, um, up to five amps, you can use a universal um, adapter, as long as it's got the correct plug to go into the camera. I figured might be best to just go with the one the manufacturer of the camera is selling. Uh, so, uh, wasn't too much to add on to it. So, I will uh, put this over here. And next, the big box, High Point Scientific. Um, yeah. Feeling some rattling. That's not giving me a warm fuzzy high point. Okay. And another invoice. Uh, key ring. Little key ring, I'll pull this out in a minute. So, astrometric, or astronomic, excuse me, hydrogen beta filter. And I have to set this down. Because as you can see, the rest of it is in a box inside this box. Get back over here. And it's surrounded with packing peanuts. Yeah, kind of don't like the way that wrap that's loose inside there. But maybe that's just me. Could just be stuff inside other boxes and those boxes are what's rattling around. Um, and everything inside the boxes is perfectly secured. Um, and I am correct in that assumption. So first we have S2. I was wrong, it's S2, not S3. Uh, H alpha. Oh, 
O3. And this should be the LRGB. And then here we have our eight position filter wheel. And the ASI 1600mm Pro. What do we want to look at first? We want to look at the camera, the filters. Uh, I'm going to make you wait. I'm going to look at the filters. Okay. Luminance. Red. Blue. That's pretty freaky. So let's zoom in on this. I think I could take it out of this plastic. So let's uh, look in here. That one appears blue. That one appears clear. That appears red. And that appears yellow. Well, we're letting the light that we want through and nothing else, right? So this is actually luminance. This is red, green, nope, blue, and green. That's pretty interesting. I mean, makes sense. Should not have any reflection of the blue for a filter that allows blue through and reflects everything else. Makes sense to me. So let me put this over here. And next up is our O3. And there's our O3 filter. And I'm just going to take this out. So as you can see, we kind of don't need to write anything on there. Hopefully we get that in focus. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but on the on the edge there, it says O3 7 nanometer filter. So uh, every filter so far that I've seen has what it is written on the casing or the or the uh, ring rather and. I mean, these are sealed pretty decent. I gotta give, give them that. And of course, this was the kit, so all these filters are ZWO. Um, on cloudy nights and a few other places, I read that uh, they're good. Uh, they should be part focal with each other, which is good. It means my Offsets for focusing should be pretty darn close. Sorry, uh, that was H alpha, by the way. They are seven nanometer. Um, if I was in DC and I was wanting to image, I would probably be investing in uh, three or four nanometer filters uh, as opposed to the seven uh, but out here clearly my skies are dark enough that I really didn't need to go mono but I fear we've gone over my fears um, so seven nanometer should be more than sufficient to uh, get me where I want to be as far as learning relatively inexpensively and then as time progresses my skills improve and I need to improve my data or my light pollution gets worse um, then I can just simply upgrade the filters as I need to and spend the money later on so uh, but for now these will be sufficient, and this one is the S2. Uh, there's no 
uh, printing on the casing itself. So if I were to take the filters out of the filter wheel and put them back in a case, and I happen to lose the, S, the case the S2 filter came in, at least I'm not putting an S2 and an O3 and then mistaking it later. Uh, there's no writing on the case itself. It's all on the filter ring. So I guess that's a long-winded say, way of saying the cases are interchangeable. And then the one that I'm going to be curious about is the hydrogen beta. Um, astronomic. Um, it is a 12 nanometer band pass, and that one does have the writing on it. So, is what it is. Uh, T max is 92%. That's good. So, and recommended focal length, F infinity down to F 1.5. That's awesome because I'm running F7. Uh, all right. So next up, let's open up this filter wheel. All right. So it came with a couple caps. Uh, as well as it looks like this one's a little extension tube. It's got some threading on it. Probably one and a half inch extension tube. Um, not too keen on... Oh, that does come out. Excellent. So I'll have to see what's inside there, but uh, 20 millimeters, that's good. I'm just gonna have to see what uh, what adapters I have. I don't know. What adapters I have and uh, what's gonna work. So, motors down here, USB powered, as you can see. Our filters are, will be inside there. From what I've uh, read and watched before, take the screws off this back plate and then all the filters can screw in there or rotate it to the position you want uh, and then screw them in that way. Uh, I will probably take this back plate off. And then inside here, we've got some, looks to be filter rings. So if we had filters that were not part of a uh, already mounted inside rings with threads, uh, looks like we would be using these to secure them in. Uh, nice flat. USB cable, and then a, looks like an adapter plate, threaded adapter plate to go on one side. So we will see how all that marries up and a little screwdriver for those screws I was talking about just a minute ago. So, uh, yeah, as far as unboxing is concerned, I think that does it for this video. Um, I'll be assembling it and bench testing it in a separate video that I will record shortly, but uh, we'll post separately. So next up is the camera itself. Let's get that opened up and let's see what we got. Looks like the camera's probably in a nice little carrying case. A bunch of rings and adapters so got another ring right there uh, 
USB cable, another USB cable, shorter ones. That's excellent. And we got one here. Not sure what that would go to just yet, but we'll find out. And then a 21 and 16 and a half millimeter extension, or, or excuse me, spacers. And lastly, we have the camera. The ASI, if you can see that, ASI 1600mm Pro. Two USB ports. Let's put this back up here. And my floodlight just went out. So apologies for that. So as you can see here, two USB ports, the main USB port, and then the power port to run the fans. It is cooled. Nice fan there. So we've got our heat sinks along here and our fan there. And then once again, drop something. Would it be a video on the Astro Imaging Journey channel if I did not drop something? So, but as you can see, it's hard to see, but our sensor's down in there. So, yep, all right. That's it for this one. I'm going to put this over on the bench and uh, we will bench test this later in another video. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you liked it. Please stick around for the outro. As always, clear skies and have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember to.